Hello. It's not always about confrontations and solving problems. Every once in a while, I like to tell you stories about people who are stepping out of their normal routine to help others in a really big way. Here's a Help Me Howard profile. This is all to me. Ever since I was younger, in high school, I saw my friends in church going off to different ends of the world doing missions trips, and I wanted to do it. You know, there was a part of me that knew that I wanted to do that, but it wasn't until just last year that I felt ready. You should know that Jeanette Ng has appeared in a few commercials, has worked as a reporter on the red carpet scene, and has spent some time greeting commuters in Grand Central Station. Perhaps some of you Metro North commuters remember this. Now, you're a model, you're an actress, a spin coach, a red carpet reporter. Where do you find time for missionary work? Well, being so many different things, you learn how to multitask. And I think women also by nature are very good at multitasking. So That's what we keep hearing. I found a way to make it so I don't have to compartmentalize missions work. So it doesn't have to be time that I take away from everything else to do specifically mission work. I'm constantly doing mission work. And this weekend, Jeanette embarks on a month-long journey to the Himalayas. We're going to be starting at Kathmandu and uh, about 800 meters elevation and we'll be climbing at the very peak will be at 5,400 meters elevation. So that's 3.5 miles or 17,000 feet and uh, it's going to be 17 days of hiking. We are addressing some very tangible needs that the people have. So some but bathrooms. Yeah, bathrooms, hygiene. hygiene, you know, so that's uh, there's going to be a learning curve involved with that uh, and then we have to incorporate you know, the, the spiritual aspect and that we're doing this, you know, with God's love. Do you benefit spiritually and philosophically from your missionary work and your Christian faith? I benefit 100% spiritually from a missions trip because it's through and through all about God. Do Christian entertainers, Christian artists, do you have a, uh, a sense of calmness and peace yes. that gets you through oh, yes. the rejection, the difficulty? that other oh, artists yes, do not yes, have? Yes, 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 yes. Inarguably, yes. I mean, I'm so much more at peace than I was when I first entered the industry. If you want to find out more about Jeanette's missionary work, you can go log on to hopeforthehimalayas.info. Knowing that things are designed for you to happen, you know, for, for your own good and for God's greater good, you know, gives you a peace of mind, you know, when things are happening that may otherwise seem out of control and may otherwise seem not according to plan. When you have that sort of mentality about it, that perspective that it is according to a plan, maybe not your plan, but a greater plan, and it all work itself out. I'm Howard Thompson for PIX11 News.